Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Kerbal Space Program. Where I'm still, I'm looking at this, I got 292 science. I want to bring a rover that can bring Jebediah back to our rocket, and then bring Jebediah back to Earth. What I think might be the right course of action is actually not to use a rover. And instead, just try to land right next to my boy, Jebediah, and have him walk? What do you think, Ruka? Walk to the new pod? I mean, that's gonna have to be a pretty close shot. Like, sometimes I can't even park close enough that we can walk to the business we're trying to go to. Take some extra attempts, you know? Um, one thing's for sure, you know, the science, we're not gaining interest on it. So we probably do want to pick up, you know, some level of something. And at first you'd think, like, let's work towards being, you know, smart boys and go get rovers. But I think it's going to be easier to get science by investing in rocketry first. So by getting, you know, fuel tanks that are stronger or larger or somehow, you know, less heavy. Um, engines that are better, like, for this is uh, propulsion systems. Small, lightweight Propulsion systems. What if instead of that we went for heavy rocketry? You know, we get the kickback solid fuel booster. We get the skipper liquid fuel engine. It excels when used as a mid-stage booster. A more reasonable engine for rough economic times. It doubles as a barbecue when at low power. <laughs> let's get let's get heavy engines, light engines. We still got 112 science left for the future here. Um we're going to leave our facility. I'm going to fast forward to the next morning as well. And then, uh, as the sun comes up here, we can also look up some contracts that can give us some, you know, easy money. Like, for example, I mean, that's one science. That doesn't really seem worth it. But test the ant on an escape trajectory out of Kerbin. Extremely plausible. Test the heat shield in flight over Kerbin. That's four science that's extremely easy as well. But I don't know if that seems a little boring. Test the skipper landed science data from the surface of the moon this is what we want okay so this gives us fifty thousand money we don't need the money for anything at this point but um explore the moon rendezvous two vessels in orbit of the moon that one day but not here so science data from surface of the moon seems very easy except i think that's okay for now unless there's something we can test yeah we can test the skipper at the launch site but I mean, we're, we'll take it because we're probably going to use it anyway, but... Um, and then we're going to go back to our uh, vehicle assembly building. And we're going to construct a new rocket. And it's probably going to look exactly the same as our earlier rockets. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you. Because that's how they always seem to turn out. But we're going to make this one with the express purpose of possibly being able to get Jebediah back. So this one, at its uh, present moment... Can only hold one Kerbin, as you can see. So, if we're gonna do this, we do need to attach a crew cabin. I think. Um, lights, lights off, dude. Lights. Oh no, lights are on already. I see. I see the issue. Okay. At which point we will need. Uh, I mean, this is gonna make it tough to re-enter. Ha ha ha. But uh, I think sensible nonetheless. We'll also put some science on it because we need science data from the surface of the moon. So our last phase has to have some science attached to it. And we'll also throw like, you know, a barometer on it somewhere. And we can throw a thermometer on it as well. That's not going to destabilize us too much. I don't know about the mystery goo. I guess it is different. So you know what? Let's try to... If we're going to take Mystery Goo, it doesn't make for like a seamless rocket. So it's probably best to uh, to have transmitting functions. So let's focus on getting one bird stoned at once here. We're going to put a thick heat shield on this bat. That's not going to... Well, maybe it will. I don't know. So we need an adapter, which is in uh, miscellaneous, I thought. No. Structural? Yeah, look at that. Okay. So this looks just horrible, but this is the heat shield we're going to use for re-entry. Okay. You don't need engines on your on your re-entry machine. That's fine. Fuel tanks. Does anything 
nothing fits here. Well, we need a decoupler, right? So the first step, I guess, would be a Rocco Max. Rocco, Rocco Max. I want to be a Rocco Max. Isn't there a, a decoupler that takes it down a level? I'm, I'm assuming it would be in the same air. Like, can I just turn this upside down? <laughs> Apparently not. Um, maybe we haven't unlocked it yet. So I'll tell you what, let's just save this as like, bring him home 01. We should have enough science to essentially pick up one of whatever we need. As long as it's only one level away. Rocco Max brand adapter. A shorter adapter. But I want I want an adapter that goes in a different direction. Yo. Stack tricoupler. This is the new world. Protective rocket nose cone. I don't care about the radial decouplers of that level. Like Advanced inline stabilizer. No, it shouldn't be an exploration. Miniaturization? So we're trying to go from a big part to a small part. Is it further? No, it's, it's definitely not related to actuators, but um, maybe you're not supposed to. What about the fuel systems? Like, are you extremely large or something? Rocco Max. These are all Rocco Max. So you know what? Give me the fuel systems as well. Let's make some better rockets, dude. Even though that costs us like all of our science. Um, so now if I go to fuel tanks, do we not have Rocco Max brand fuel tanks now? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, this one. There you go. Okay. Liquid fuel amount 1440 versus 180. Oh, this this episode I'm just going to let you know. It's going to be like an extreme test. So our because I mean, are you looking at what I'm seeing right now? This is uh uh wait wait wait. How are you going to land this? You idiot. You don't have an engine attached. So it's our big heat shield that requires the this thing, right? Give me a sec. Give me a sec. This might be stupid. Why, why, why are you trying to rock a heat shield this big? What if we just went with our normal heat shield? I know that you're, you're trying too hard. You're getting, you're getting too big for your bridges. This thing's going to be hard to land because it's very top heavy. I'll give you that. I understand where you're coming from here. As long as we put some balls on the bottom of it, it might not be that bad. So let's just... You know, stick with what has worked historically for us here. Um, and that's very simple. Yeah, we I, I got a little a little silly there. So what do you do? Well, you build a, you build yourself a Varus. Get yourself a Varus who can do both. So you throw these on here. It's trilateral symmetry for all you folks at home keeping score. Um, and then we want fuel tanks. Basically as low as they'll go. And I can't remember. Did we use two of these last time? We might have used two of them. You know what? For old time's sake, let's say two of these is the right amount. So I know what you're saying. NL, you're just going to build the same rocket. I'm telling you straight up. That's not my intention. <laughs> if if it happens, it happens. But it's not my intention. Not At least not yet. Okay, you guys, do me a favor. We're going to use our barometer as a point of reference here. That seems okay. Do 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 do. Uh, just dance. Okay, so that's our science. This is our crew cabin where Jebediah's got to go. Is there any way in there? I don't know. Maybe. I guess that's something we'll figure out when we're on the surface of the moon. Then we're going to take a normal heat shield. Well, 1.25 meters to avoid ambiguity. Then there's a de decoupler under that. Just a standard decoupler. Right there. Look at that. All right. And then... These things are just landing gear. They don't have any engine on the bottom of them. So, we take ground. Landing struts. And now I think we can go a little hex symmetry. That looks horrible. That looks good. And even on top of that, might be a little ridiculous, but... 
kind of like the idea of having some extra landing stabilizers just for just for fun yeah okay now why don't we try to to change things up a little bit in our next section so we can do like um like hear me out here level 400 fuel tank then an adapter which is in uh structural i recognize that we're taking a while here but i think this is for the best and hopefully this fuel does filter down through the adapter. If not, we can use our fuel lines, but I've never used those before, so that might be like a hell incarnate. I don't know. X200, X208. Small upper stages and landers. Don't make me laugh. This seems like a lot of fuel. Like, this by itself has four times the amount of one level 400 so this counts as four level 400 fuel tanks which is previously what we might have used for like an entire stage so let's just try this again this is going to be an exercise in in being a little bit more um uh constructing a different rocket i think it's fair to say a stranger rocket as well so this will be like our second stage right here and then we need i'm assuming a lot of thrust I mean, it's been a while since we had an experimental episode like this. And I think it, it goes without saying that we do need to build a better rocket. So uh, I don't mind the idea of, of experimenting and then seeing how things go. Is it the right idea? Is it the wrong idea? Should I be feeling bad? Should I be feeling good? It's kind of sad being the laughing stock of the neighborhood. I'm not going to do that. That looks horrible. What about this? No, that's... Also awful. Um, so usually a rocket will have a, a lot more fuel than this. Or sorry, a lot more engines than just one on the bottom. But I'll tell you what, for the time being, let's try this. We know that it was the uh, the skipper. We know the skipper's pretty potent. Let's just give this a shot and see how it works. And I, I don't expect this to work on the first try. We don't have taxpayers to answer to, so... Um, we have viewers, which means I can get away with like a little bit more, although sometimes uh, it doesn't seem that way. So let's, again, we're trying to, it's, it's not quite symmetrical in the way that I would like. But that should be okay. I know it looks off, but I think it looks off predominantly because of the barometer, as much as that sounds like wishful thinking. Um, Get out of here. Okay. Like, it, it, I'll admit, it does look a little akimbo. Either way, aerodynamics. We're using Delta Deluxe winglets. Trying to keep these in, in line with the hex. It's a little hideous. Which one of these is in line? Why are you oriented so strangely here? There's like... Whatever. Let's just do it like this. And we're going to need the stabilizers as well. So, for all the accusations we could have here, this is certainly not just the same rocket made again. At least not yet. All of our previous rockets have been trilateral symmetry. This one is only trilateral symmetry during the final stage. During the initial uh, launching stages, no siree. Okay, so these are going to fire. The engine at the bottom is going to fire. This is going to decouple. This engine is going to fire. This is going to decouple. Did I not put an engine up here? Yeah, we don't need three of those. Let's cool your jets. There you go. Um, did I not put an engine before the decoupler? I may not have. Which means we need... An you feeling okay, brain? Where's where's the heat shield? Oh, the heat shield is under here. Well, then when you decouple the engines, how is this thing gonna land? You know, we've got a we've got a great point there. So it's, <laughs> you know, this is all part of the debugging process. That goes there. Little decoupler. 
how are these things going to attach to the fuel tanks? This this engine's not going to have any freaking fuel attached to it, dude. Um, yeah, okay. Put a little spark down on there. That's that's just for landing and then takeoff. Ah, we're, we're screwed. Um, sure, let's uh, bring him home 01. <laughs> Take one. This pops. This engine fires. This pops. These pop. Sure, yeah, let's go. Save, launch. Um, I can't see how this can go right, to be honest with you. So, I mean, ostensibly, this is we're trying to land on the moon. We're also testing the skipper at the launch site. Um, and we're trying to get science from the moon in return. And so we're going to try to get two birds stoned at once. What are, we, what are we doing here? Get to the moon, land, capture science, return to Kerbin, see if this rocket is capable of getting there efficiently and bringing Jebediah back. Let's go. Too heavy. Needs more needs more thrust right off the cut, I'll tell you that. Very stable though. Look at that, you can't deny this is a Oh it's it's going up. 0 0.1 meters per second. Now it's going back down. Alright, revert flight. Revert to vehicle assembly. We need more engines at the bottom. So, how are we gonna do that? We're gonna take off this final stage right here. And we're going to instead have some Radial decouplers. And we're going to go for trilateral symmetry again. But again, it's still not quite the same rocket we've made 20 times in the past. Sort of. Dude, I, I'm losing it. Everything is lined up perfectly. Except these freaking fuel tanks up here. Which I always... Take off, and then I realize you got to grab them by the decoupler. They get real, real cheesed. See, that looks like it's symmetrical except for the landing gear. Uh, it, it, landing gear is a little weird, but I think this is good. Okay, and then the 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 step here is very simple. So you put you probably actually continue to have the spark at the bottom, the skipper. Sorry, um, and then you got three of those. You just put three more skippers here, which will not attach. So instead, I mean we're taking a lot of fuel here. Give me three of these. Put three skippers underneath them. Our engines are not overlapping each other, which is sick. And then aerodynamically, you want a little nose cone. That nose cone is far too small. So instead, you go structural. You get, <laughs> get an adapter. And then you put the nose cone on. Yeah, look at this. It's a beautiful creature here. Let's launch this bad boy. Uh, don't forget to check your staging. Staging is all sorts of off. We have no stabilizers, that explains it. So these four are gonna fire simultaneously. Everything else should be roughly correct. Yeah, that looks, that looks normal. Why is one of these burning fuel at essentially no rate? Probably because we got our landing gear up. Yeah, too much drag. That's the that's the reason. Probably because that one in the middle is taking uh, fuel from all of these fuel tanks, and the other ones are not. So we probably need to hook up like a fuel hose situation. There is my guess. Three of our engines no longer fire. So honestly, like get these radial decouplers out of here, dude. No, that was not right. You've done you've done a bad thing. Revert to vehicle assembly. Obviously, this is not a shrewd move. Okay, I'll tell you what. Here's what you do. You start building the same rocket you've built 20 times in the past. I really like I feel like I'm missing the uh the engine not the engine, sorry. The uh 
Please allow me this, this indulgence. Um, I'm missing the piece that converts things downwards, but I guess you're not supposed to go, like, small to big. It's beautiful. Gotta be honest with you, it doesn't seem that aerodynamic. But I've got a sneaking suspicion that this might be just what we needed. <laughs> How? Great question. Great question. I, I'm, I've decided I'm not taking any questions. You can cherry pick. You can take this out of context and be like, NL, what were you thinking was going to happen with this rocket? Well, I certainly was not thinking... I, I'm, to be honest with you, I'm surprised it even took off to begin with. Um, but, but here we are. I'm in danger of kind of like finding myself meandering a little bit on this episode, and I think that's uh, that's not where we want to be. What's our apoapsis at here? So hopefully this is productive, but let's be honest, it probably will not be. Um, we're starting to starting to turn a little bit here. I don't know. Let's see how long the fuel for this thing lasts. Ooh, not nearly as long as I was hoping. Yeah, our previous rocket was definitely... I mean, it was capable of getting us to the moon, which is why... You know, one of the reasons why it was so beautiful to begin with. Um, I just want to... I, I gotta admit, I feel a little social pressure to uh, make my next rocket not just the same thing with different parts, you know? I want it to be like a little bit more, a little bit cooler, if you will, because everyone always has cool rockets. They make fun of my rockets for not being as cool as their rockets, and you know what? It hurts. Gosh darn it. So I was, I was hoping to... I was hoping to nip that in the bud and make a cool rocket like all my friends from school with all their cool rockets, but... Nobody, uh, nobody's gonna be, you know, putting posters on their wall of this monstrosity. I'll tell you that to begin with here. Okay. Take me here. And let me get a little slash action. In eight seconds or so? Dude, we're on a weird little angle as well. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. Because we can easily pivot up. Like so. And then let it burn like an Usher song. Dude, it's extending the vector real quickly. Like, real quickly. It's going to take us a little while. Uh, and, and we're definitely going to enter our next stage. Which actually <laughs> had no fuel. Ah, okay. This was a this was an unmitigated disaster from the very beginning. Scrap this, you know, long episode today. Get this out of here. I don't want to deal with that junk. That that junk is busted. We know we need a crew cabin. Let's start from zero here. We know we need a crew cabin because we want Jebediah to be able to get in. How many? The pod only holds one, right? I believe that's correct. So Jebediah has got to be able to get in the crew cab. We still don't have a ladder, but, you know, they can use their EVA suit, hopefully, to, in theory, get that done. Um, and then you need a little bit of fuel, as we know. External fuel duct. Yes, fuel lines pump fuel from side-mounted fuel tanks. All FTX lines have arrows painted, which indicates fuel flow direction. So engineers can tell which way around they're supposed to go. So it goes from the first point to the second point. I'm trying to think of ways that we would use this productively. And I, I'm kind of striking out right now. So again, we need science. And we probably don't need a science junior. We could probably just take goo instead. But why not try to get uh, as much value from the science as possible? Uh, and then we need a heat shield. Well... Yes, that's good. That's you got it. You got it. That's correct. You need a heat shield. So, like that. This is what we're taking back. Then we want to make a stout lander. We want it to be a, a just an extraordinarily stout boy. 
So we're gonna put four of these bad boys on. Via radial decouplers? I don't know, we might be getting a little big for our britches here, but hey, quadrilateral symmetry, like what a world, right? Wait, 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 you, you've messed up royally. First, way easier to do this now. Stack decoupler, there you go, final stage. This is what's coming back into Kerbin, and hopefully not exploding, although, to be honest, I'm looking at it. I'm not totally convinced, but that's okay. Then, fuel tanks. Hey, buddy, what's up? Four of these bad boys. I know, seems a little ridiculous, right? Um, but this is because we're also using this as a landing tool. We got four of those. They all need aerodynamic nose cones. Now we're halfway to greatness. What engine were we using previously? I believe we were using the Terrier. Um, you know what? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Nothing wrong with that engine. Then we're going to try... Uh, maybe it's in utility? Where's, where's our fuel lines? Fuel lines! You know you want it. Oh, yeah, it's in fuel tank. So it goes to the second point. So I want all of our fuel lines to pump pump fuel. See, that one works, and that annoys me. Um, but we want all of our fuel lines to pump fuel into the center so that the engine can get it. But they're all going from the center. There you go. No, okay, see, now you've you've done it back. Joy, you've used the one twice. There you go. What direction are the arrows going in? Like, do 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 do. That makes sense. Or is that just the natural, like, stippling? Yeah, okay, they're all pumping into the middle. So that, that should be okay. So we got productive fuel tanks. Why do we have fuel tanks? Oh, your final stage doesn't need that much fuel. They're not there for fuel. These are here. So we can land, uh, you know, our Varus rocket. How many landing struts is too many? Uh, error, the limit does not exist. Yeah, that looks... Nothing... Yeah, it's good. Okay. Then! Coupling. Stack decoupler. The next phase... Previously, we've been using three uh, engines, and they, I believe they were swivels or reliance. I can't recall. Um, we could look, I suppose. 24 tons, 7 tons. Dude, that's absurd. So the poodle is not great. The skipper is good as a mid-stage booster, which is what we're here for right now. So I, I almost think, and I, this is trial and error, it's going to be heavy. So we need a lot of thrust, but you, you take um, structural, thank you, um, take one of these, you take one of these and no more, and then you take one of these. Now this didn't generate a ton for us last time. But I think that's totally fine. Because we were using it during our... Well, our first stage didn't have too much going for it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And then in our bottom stage... And this is where it's going to get ridiculous. And you knew it was going to happen. You take a Rocco Max. Uh, you sing the songs that remind us of the good times. You sing the songs that remind us of the best times. And then you do... Um, five of these. In a way, it's almost, like, elegant, wouldn't you say? No? Oh, well, you know. Peanut Gallery's always got an opinion, I suppose. This is just a test if this thing will even make it off the ground. Does seem to have a little bit of like an open air sort of thing going on there. I'm not a huge fan of that, but um, now don't put parachutes on the wings. That's seems inefficient. Um, Delta Delta Deluxe winglets, please. 
And, dude, honestly, the more of those, the merrier, probably. This is my quest to have this not be a lost episode here. Now, I don't know if we've messed up something really. These should all be on the same level. Boom, psh, boom, psh. Okay. And then structural. Yeah, there you go. And these should all, this should fire at the same time. We'll save it as bring him home 001 because we can just throw out our previous one. This thing's a little too heavy. Dude, you know what? I'm happy you said something. Thanks for not being weird about it. So, we'll take this, and you know what we'll do? We'll go a little trilateral symmetry, and essentially do what I said I wasn't going to do, and recreate our rocket uh, accidentally. Just with slightly different parts. Now, this is definitely akimbo. But that's also not right. Oh, because you're not on snapping. There you go. What do you do? Aerodynamic, nose cone, and then launch stability enhancers, save it up, launch this bad boy, let's go! Bring him, no pilots on board. Why? Why would you look at this and say that should be anything but the pilot fly. Have you seen this monstrosity? This thing's got no autopilot. It doesn't fly itself. We need a pilot. We need a manual pilot. Let's go. Oh, this thing is gonna motor, dude. Look at how it's so quiet. You wouldn't even know we're launching a rocket here. I'll level with you. This thing's gonna go fast. It's it's gonna go too fast. We are gonna. I'm sorry, Julia. <laughs> I can't remember how I even faked pronouncing this name. Uh, you are going to burn up in the atmosphere. Um, but my God, it's gonna look so glorious when you do. It's our apoapsis sign. It's getting a little silly. Um, might hit like 150,000 apoapsis here. It's not going to quite be 150, but it's it's up there. Did you hear that? That that hopefully was just fuel sputtering out. I don't like that. Oh, there it, it actually decoupled properly. Okay, so the next step is, um, wow, it's so majestic. We point ourselves towards the horizon. And then this should not be, uh, what's our apoapsis? 140, dude. Um, can we make, let me try something. I want to add a maneuver where we burn on the prograde to create an orbit. And then just do what the marker says so I'm not always like fighting myself to try to make the orbit happen. Why, why are you being weird, you know? I know if we burn on the prograde, we're gonna, uh, maybe we don't wanna do a maneuver. Or maybe you have to do it at apoapsis and then pull on the prograde. Yeah, that makes more sense. I'm just trying to do this to create an orbit around Kerbin. Periapsis once. That's fine. All right. So what's estimated burn in 39 days? We missed it. No, nope, not that. Estimated time one minute. Just give it a sec. Just give it a sec. I, this, if it works, I'm a happy man. This is pretty much what we want. This will be fine. Okay. 
You're supposed to burn for 80 days? I'm losing it. What are you doing here? What do you mean burn for 80 days? What do you think this is? A Jackie Chan Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? And that one's actually around the world in 80 days. Alright, well, they're they're on some silly stuff, so I'm gonna disregard that. Instead, you know, it's like T minus 30 seconds. Not if I can help it. Why are you not burning? I haven't told you to burn. Maybe that's why. It was in a stage where it was like, you're going, you have no acceleration, so... You're never going to be able to, to get to this point. AKA, you will never get this, you will never get this. I'm starting to sink. I'm starting to sink a little bit is the thing here. I'd prefer if you didn't. Pull that prograde marker back up. Um, yeah, okay. How long is the fuel gonna last? Great question. We could always put some more fuel tanks on this section. Actually, this is one of the few times that I actually think it might be right. I've done it a lot, but this is one of the times I think it might be right to put more fuel on this thing and connect it up via fuel lines, because, um... We, uh, I mean, at the present moment... We're already hitting an 140,000 apoapsis just by going straight up, which indicates we got way too much delta V, I think, through the first phase. As a result, adding more fuel will slow us down, lower our, ap our apoapsis, which is irrelevant, and um, allow us to get much more fuel out of a second stage. And I think this could be a positive situation for us. So the next step, 45 degrees behind the moon, roughly here, we're going to set a maneuver node. See if we remember how to do this. Dude. There was an encounter there, but I think it was actually a Minmus encounter. Wait, wait, wait. No, there's a moon encounter. It's going to take two days. We could probably adjust it so that instead of taking two days, we could do it uh, in one day. So you know what? Let's make good. Uh, let's make good habits. Let's do that. Four hours. Much better. So that, this seems fine to me. Um, you got to burn for 20 seconds in 13 minutes to make this happen. Uh, sure. And you burn along the blue marker. We don't have 20 seconds of fuel left in this stage. I'll just level with you on that. So it seems we've essentially recreated our last rocket. But honestly, for like a version 1.0, I don't think this is that bad. I don't think it's good. Uh, I think we've obviously got a lot of room to improve this. But this is step one of bringing Jebediah home. Building a better rocket. And then another big part of it is going to be landing it in the right spot. And then it's going to be... I mean, hopefully landing it so close he can just hop on. And then we can come back to... Come back to Kerbin. So we're looking, we're waiting for 12 minutes here, or a lot less than 12 minutes. So we're waiting until there's 12 seconds left. Or, sorry, 10 seconds left. So we got a little bit of time. Probably should stop at like a one minute there. There you go, that's perfect. And then you, 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 come on, let's be honest, you can go speed five here. And now we'll just wait for 10 seconds. We want to burn here. It's not going to be 20 seconds. It's probably going to end up being like a minute and a half. But let's uh, let's get this show on the road. Fifteen minutes. Seven days. Seven days. It has no fuel. What's happening here? Oh, fire! Fire! Yeah, one minute thirty-five seconds. Okay, that's <laughs> you did it. Good job, team. Um. That's okay. We're using very, very little fuel. I think we might have a little bit less fuel in this section than we used to have, and the result of that, or the reason for that, is because we have taken up fuel space with crew cabin space instead to be able to land Jebediah. So, again, it's not, a, it's not exactly a trivial problem to solve for me. 
And I think that my experience here will indicate that that is indeed the case, but, uh, you know, I'm working at it. We'll just take our time to perfect the beat, and, you know, if, if I'm being honest with you, I might continue to have love for the streets. So 33 seconds from now, we're going to stop this burn. If I look at this, I was going to say we should be extending our orbit around here until it reaches roughly an intersection point with this orange line. You know. <laughs> Not as much fuel left as I would like, to be honest with you. We know we're going to use some during landing. And then probably some, well, like, a lot during takeoff and re-entry, but... I, I'm... I doubt we'll complete the contract over the course of this, but but we could. Good. Good. Okay. Um, delete the maneuver. We're pretty close. Close enough. You know, that's what they say about rocket science. That's why they're always saying rocket science is so easy. It's because it's inexact. So warp me to here, please. I think we could definitely do with, like triple the maybe that's a little rich but i was gonna say triple the fuel for the second stage and i said triple specifically because you know what i mean trilateral symmetry right okay so this is our moon encounter just warp to the encounter so you can see how things look once you're captured nice okay you're all you basically have to use no fuel in order to collide with the moon. So that's sick. Um, so the next stage of my, my master plan here is to land... Set us target, please. And focus view. Is to land on Jebediah. So we want to hit the moon slower. And then try to land, like, directly on top of this guy. So, I think what I want to do is get on the retrograde. Can we set... Oh, we can set that as our target. Okay. Good to know. So, let's, let's burn for a second here. Yeah, but that's like, you, you see the issue. <laughs> it's not really going to work. Um, what if we add a maneuver, we burn... Um, see, I want to move this one. See, here's the thing. Set us, set us target, okay? Descending node. Delete this, fam. Um, this is where we learn. This is where we ascend. Okay, so our descending node is on like the middle of the planet. Um, obviously, we want to change that. So let's add a maneuver here. And let's burn on the retrograde until our ascending node makes sense. No, we got a, we got a ways to go here. Like mentally speaking. Um... Yeah, so like what? What is this going to do? How am I going to travel if I burn on this angle? Because I really want to land here. Delete this. You're, you're, you're just royally messing this up. Okay. Hear me out here. The further away you are, the easier it is to adjust your trajectory. So let's add a maneuver close. Eight minutes away. Now let's burn on the retrograde. In theory, we could burn so much we would escape the moon's orbit, which is what's happening right there. Which we don't want to do. This is now... I mean, now we're like, I don't know, dying on the surface of the planet? It seems... I mean, to me, it seems like, why don't I just fly like a little bit in this direction? You know what I mean? Like, delete this maneuver. This maneuver does not need to exist. I am, I'm messing something up. I'm, I'm in no man's land right now. 
here's what I'm gonna do, and you're not gonna like this, and I'll just tell you that straight up. Um, our target is the pink arrow, I'm assuming. That might be our anti-target, if that makes sense. Like, the, the vector that's directly opposite our target, and that's our target right there. Um... So I think we could fly at our anti-target and maybe be okay. But I'm like, I'm losing it here. Slow down. Okay. We know how to land. That's one thing. Once we get a little closer to the surface of the moon. Let's make sure this bad boy can even land. Because this is really just an episode in which we're doing like a lot of beta testing. Hold up. Okay, that's fine. Um... Or anti normal. So we do want to move in this direction. This is how we're going to get to our target. No, no, stop. Stability assist. Yeah, there you go. I'm sorry, Jeb. It's a long process. I can land on the moon. Landing where I need to land is, is another story altogether. Good work. Me. Align with the retrograde, please. Forgive me, comments. Why do I bother? Fly retrograde, fly retrograde. That's uh, it's Billy Talent's magnum opus. Too fast. That was way too fast. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so like fifty thousand start to slow your butt down here. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna miss Jeb by a lot. I think it's fairly clear that that's, that's not a, a very efficient way to get things done. But you know what? Give me a crew report. Plus 15 science. You know, why not? We have to recover scientific data from the surface? Yes. We are, you know, I'm happy with the way this rocket's looking, considering what a ramshackle production it started as, but it is fair to say this is decidedly not the surface of the moon. About 100 seconds away from landing. Start to slow ourselves down even more. So this has become, like, another episode that's predominantly an exercise in landing and taking off. And I'm okay with that, because, I mean, if I'm being honest, we probably needed it. And I do think, as much as you might look at this rocket and naysay it, and I don't think it's a dream come true, I do think this is a better rocket. Or at least it's using better parts. You know what they say a poor craftsman blames his tools? Yeah, well, ain't no caveman landing on the moon. The reason, you know, you say a poor craftsman blames his tools, but, you know, we call it the Stone Age, the Bronze Age, the Iron Age. Because you're talking about comics, in which case, you, you know, call it like the Silver Age or something like that. But all I'm getting at is that your tools do matter. Hopefully have left us enough time to land safely here. I believe I have. I absolutely have. Okay, so just cut throttle. We got no um we got no sticky keys nonsense going on. So I can use shift appropriately. And dude, this thing is looking stable. All it needs is just a little stay. I'll be walking the streets. <laughs> Don't dis disregard, disregard. Um, take her down, boys. I mean, it's, can't warp faster than one X. We're gonna be here for a hundred years, dude. Come on, he's done this twenty times. We don't need uh, your motivation. We don't need your thought control. We don't... Education. It's a clear, like, very important line in that song. He definitely does not say, we don't need your motivation. We don't need your thought control. We are landing on, like, a mountaintop, so this will be a good test of our landing.
Yeah, yeah, no, it turns out we're landing on like a, like a 30 degree angle. This is bad for business. So if it can handle it, well then by all means consider it handled. This is, I hate to say it, but it's all about patience now. Take her down slow. Hope you found a particularly flat portion of mountain. And then hope your 12 spider legs do you justice here. Otherwise, we're back to the drawing board, but just a little burst of energy there. It's going down. It's going down. Well, I think this is going to be a bit of an R&D episode. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, dude, we actually might have been able to do this. Either way, though, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.